Symmetry works with the Paintbrush tool in Affinity Designer and Photo. To access the Paintbrush tool and the Symmetry options, we need to move to the Pixel Persona. So I'll tap the Designer icon and choose the Pixel Persona. Then I'll select the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. On the Context toolbar, we have the option to enable Symmetry. By tapping this, a line of Symmetry will appear on the Document view. We can hold the Centre node to move it around, or we can hold the line of symmetry and drag it to change the rotation. Holding shift on the command controller will lock rotation to 15 degree increments. I'm going to line it up with my pink guideline. When I'm happy with the placement, I can tap the lock icon to lock it in place so that I don't accidentally move it while I'm drawing. Now I can select a pixel layer and I'll change the colour. When sliders have a little white dot in the corner, it means that there are more settings available. Tapping the accumulation settings will reveal the opacity settings, and a second tap will move us back to accumulation. Tapping the flow slider will take us to the hardness settings. I'll increase the slider, and then tap back to flow. Now I can begin painting. It will behave as if the pixel information has been rotated 180 degrees so it appears on the opposite side. You can also have the line of symmetry act like a mirror. I'll show you in this next example. I'll just switch to the pixel persona and enable symmetry. At the moment, the paintbrush below the line is doing the opposite of the paintbrush above the line. If I enable mirror on the context toolbar, it now reflects the movement of the other side. You can have more than one line of symmetry. If I tap the box for the number of lines on the context toolbar, I can enter the number of lines of symmetry. Also, I can hold my finger on the box and drag it up and down. You can have up to 16 lines of symmetry. Don't forget to lock it in place with the padlock icon before you start drawing. I'll reduce my brush size to around 10 pixels. This is great for quickly creating beautifully intricate patterns and mandalas. You can also use either of the stabiliser modes to help you draw smoother lines. I'll enable the rope stabiliser. Also, disabling mirror will create a different effect. It's worth experimenting with different brushes too, so I'll open the brushes panel, and next I'll try a brush from the textures category. I'll try this grunge pattern 3. Now I'll try the brush with mirror enabled. So that was a quick look at using the symmetry and mirroring features with the paintbrush tool. Thanks for watching.